Hey guys, what's up? It's time to do a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A25 versus the Vivo V29e and the Vivo V29e is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 SoC with 80GB of RAM while the Galaxy A25 is powered by Samsung Exynos 1280 SoC with 80GB of RAM. So on the back, we have dual cameras on the Vivo while on the Samsung, we have a triple cameras. On the Samsung, we have a 50 megapixel OIS main camera. Then we have 8 megapixel ultra wide. Also, we have 2 megapixel macro. While on the Vivo, we have 64 megapixel OIS main camera. Then we have 8 megapixel ultra wide. The back on the Vivo is made up of glass. While on the Samsung, we have a plastic back. Again, on the back, we have a matte finish on both phones. And the front, it is made up of plastic. And Vivo has an in display fingerprint scanner. While Samsung has a fingerprint scanner inside the power button. So on the bottom, we have our USB C with headphone jack on the Samsung A25, but headphone jack is not available at all on the Vivo V29e. And both phones and Vivo has a single speaker, while Samsung A25 has a zero speakers. Vivo also has a IP54 water and splash resistance. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how it's the Exynos 1280 is gonna perform against the Snapdragon 685 we have inside the Vivo. And Vivo V30 series is also coming very soon. So Without any wasting time, let's start off with the boot up test. Here we go. Logos came up almost at the same time. And both phones also is running on Android 14. Samsung is running on One UI 6.1 while Vivo is running on Vivo Front Touch OS version, version 14. So looks like A25 will be faster. Let's see. Exynos. And Samsung A25 it is faster when it comes to booting up and the Vivo it is also right behind there we only have one second difference between these devices when it comes to booting up and guys now let's talk about the displays between these devices and Samsung has a 6.5 inch Full HD plus Super AMOLED display with a 120 Hz refresh rate Infinity U display on the top while on this while on the another hand a Vivo has a 6.67 inch Full HD plus AMOLED with a 120 Hz refresh rate we have a center punch hole on the top on the Vivo V29 and the bottom chain it is actually much smaller on the Vivo V29e so the display is miles better on the Vivo so guys everything is closed up in the background no application is running in the background also we have same Wi-Fi network on both phones so now let's open up phone dialer slightly faster on the Samsung so next on the list is the settings once again slightly faster on the Samsung and let me go to the display so you can see we have 120 hz refresh rate on both phones we also have auto option but in my opinion auto option it is not really optimized on the vivo now check out some more apps amazon shopping and that one it is slightly faster on the samsung a25 and scrolling wise really smooth let's open this once again almost the same and now check out some games application. Let's start off with the Candy Crush Saga. Slightly faster on the Galaxy A25. So now let's open Instagram. Slightly faster once again. Let's see the us pin out. Once again, slightly faster. Snapchat, slightly faster. Spotify, almost the same. And now let's see Subway Surfer. Another game, Snapdragon 695 versus Exynos, which is a 1280. So Samsung it is slightly faster. And let me show the speakers on both phones. First on the Samsung, which has a dual speakers. And here's the Vivo looks like. So you can see and the vivo it is not really loud as the samsung and also samsung has a lot more bass which you don't find at all on the vivo opening up the temper n2 and temper n2 once again faster on the galaxy a25 so looks like exynos is performed faster than the snapdragon and this exynos which is a 1280 
let's opening up the PUBG mobile and this is a big game now let's see in that game which one will be faster and Samsung has a Mali G68 GPU while Vivo has a Adreno 619 GPU so Samsung it is slightly faster once again also in that game we have smooth graphics with ultra frame rate on both phones so as far as the gaming performance are concerned it is almost the same no no difference let's open x and that one is exactly the same zedge slightly faster on the let's see scrolling scrolling wise absolutely smooth 120 hertz it is a silky smooth and last time I'll launch the cameras on both phones default camera application let's see which one will open the camera faster Samsung's open the camera faster as far as the cam performance are concerned in my opinion the cam performance is slightly better on the Galaxy A25 and also got the front facing camera so the front facing camera it is actually more better on the Vivo V29 because on the Vivo V29e we have a 50 megapixel selfie camera okay guys now let's see internet browsing speed so I am using Samsung internet on the A25 versus a Chrome wikipedia.org that is almost the same and scrolling is absolutely smooth same thing with zooming out and now let's open this English once again almost really similar next on the list is apple.com apple.com it is faster slightly on the a25 scrolling wise no issue whatsoever and snapdragon 695 as well as the exynos which is a 1280 is performed really smooth and now let's see ram management on both phones and both phones has 8 gp of ram so let's start off with the phone dialer still there settings amazon shopping and that car it is still there can you go Sega refresh on the vivo instagram still there let's see pin out still refresh on the vivo snapchat still there spotify service offer service offer is got refresh let's see temper and two still there pubg still there but refresh on the vivo let's open x zedge and last way back to the internet browser that is still there on both phones and guys overall I have to say regarding the apps opening speed as you can see that and the Galaxy A25 overall is performed slightly faster as compared to the Vivo V29e not only in games as well as in system based applications and the A25 is very consistent so in terms of the RAM image wise in that area and the Galaxy A25 is performed excellent in the RAM management while on the vivo v29e we have a lot of refresh and also on the samsung we have 5000 mh battery size with a 25 watt super fast charging support no charge in the box while on the vivo we have 4800 mh battery size with a 44 watt super fast charging in the box we also get a charger and that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the galaxy a25 versus the vivo v29e do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for more videos like this follow me on instagram as well as on x and i will see you in my next video peace out